Hey, what's up everyone? It's Ventus, and uh, I'm making a kind of impromptu video here. I was on PB earlier today, and I wanted to test some champions like Malphite, Shivana, Galio, these kind of tanky champions, and what they can do with offensive stats, and I actually noticed something strange. The defense tree, the defense masteries, there were some changes in the previous patch. Obviously this is PB, um, so this is 5.12. And, uh... Yeah, a lot of these masteries got changed around, so I guess I, I just wanted to talk about them a little bit. Uh, I haven't had too much time to test it out yet. Like I had one game against bots, and that's about it. But um, let's just go over the changes for now and, and see how it goes. Um, previously, the support tree was changed, right? Uh, I went over that in the patch analysis video. Uh, it's been in, in the game for two patches now, I guess. It's 5.10. Uh, one patch on live, two patches on PPE. So, I guess they're revamping the defense tree now. So, what exactly did they change? Uh, the first one's here, Swiftness. Some people may know that Swiftness used to be down here, I believe. Um, so, Swiftness is taking the place of Enchanted Armor. You get up to 15% slow resist instead of 5% bonus armor and magic resist. That's pretty cool. Uh, the next one that got changed is Tenacious. Tenacious is taking the place of Oppression. You get 10% reduced CC duration instead of taking less damage from enemies with impaired movement. Alright. Uh, reduced CC is always nice for tanks, so I think this is pretty cool, but uh, I guess when I get into the actual analysis, I'll talk more about this. Uh, let's see, where am I now? Enchanted Armor is here now instead of at the very top. Enchanted Armor takes the place of Legendary Guardian. You gain up to 8% bonus armor and magic resist instead of up to 4%, or up to 4 armor and 2 MR for every nearby champion. And obviously they, they move things around a lot, and here's Legendary Armor now. So instead of gaining the 4 armor and 2 magic resist, you just gain 3 armor and 3 magic resist for nearby champions. Uh, and this used to be Tenacious, this thing here. It used to be 15% uh, tenacity, now it's, well, it's this. Alright, so the, the big one, one of the big ones, one of the two big ones. Uh, oppression is now here. You may have noticed that, hmm, it seems like there was a mastery here that nobody ever took, and uh, I guess now it's gone. So, basically, that, that's what happened. Uh, oppression takes the place of Runic Blessing. You get 2% less damage from enemies that have impaired movement instead of that really garbage 50 HP shield whenever you respawned. Pretty cool change, I think. And uh, the last one I wanted to talk about is... where is it? This one, right, right here. So this is actually new. This essentially takes the place of Runic Blessing. And it obviously, it takes the place of Swiftness, which is now here. They got swapped around. But this one's really actually... this one's actually really cool. Because you now gain bonus magic resist if you have more armor than magic resist. And you gain bonus armor if you have more magic resist than armor. It's pretty cool. So what do these changes actually mean for the tanks? Um, so I mentioned I was testing out champions like Malphite, Galio, Shivana. Uh, just because they have these kind of beefy stats and you can kind of uh, build a bit more offense on them, uh, offensive stats on them. With these changes, I don't know if you should do that anymore. These are some pretty cool changes. I guess I'll, I'll, I'll preface that with what I had here. Uh, this, would, this was my mastery before. I went 15, 15, 0 because I would be able to take Executioner Dangerous Game uh, with like some of the essential stuff here. But now it's a little bit different. I think that the defense tree is a little bit stronger now. Four tanks. Um, and I guess a lot of people just went 9 20, 1, 0 anyway. So for most people it doesn't really change. Um, but what do all these actually mean for, for certain champions? Well it means that champions that don't actually go into the defense tree too much can get re reduction to slow now. 15% slow resist. That actually can be pretty beneficial if you're playing certain fighters that go 21 offense. So some fighters, you build them with one or two offensive items and then you go defensive items. 
And now you can get some slow resist on top of that. It's pretty good. It's not like uh, fighters are... Most fighters are exceptionally good at handling tenacity. Aurelia is probably the only exception, so this is a, a pretty interesting mastery to have early on. The, uh, the second one is Tenacious. Again, I don't know if you want to do this. This is kind of weird. 3% uh, max health is really good, but let's say you go 9 into defense. If you go 9 into defense and you do something like this. Um, let's not get Warlord. Uh, something like this. Okay, so if you go 21... Nine zero like this with a like a tanky fighter kind of champion, you get tenacity now. Okay, maybe maybe you can do something like this, something interesting like this. You get slow resist and tenacity. It's just you have a lot of options now. These are these are kind of the options that you have. Maybe you don't want the health regen. Maybe you're playing Garen and you want to go offensive Garen. You could probably do something like this. Although I would probably still take Juggernaut. Juggernaut's just really good. Um, but either way, like I'm just saying that early on in the defense tree, you have a lot of not a lot, but two more really cool options that you can consider now. Um, but when you go later on into the tree, that's when it gets kind of interesting. When you, let's say you just you just go crazy 30 defense or something. Just all the way into defense. Every little thing. And uh, I guess you have to take one out. Before you would be taking this one, I'll just take this one out. One health regen's not that much. Alright, let's say you go 30 defense. Let's say you're playing one of the champions I mentioned earlier, Malphite or Shivana. Uh, not so much Galio, but I guess he could work too. Um, but if you're playing Malphite or Shivana, let's just focus, uh, you can get 8% bonus armor and magic resist now. And Malphite already has 30% bonus armor on his W, passively. He already builds armor because he scales with armor. Shivana gets both armor and magic resist from her passive, and then it doubles when she's in dragon form. And also, both of them itemize armor and magic resist. So you get a crazy amount of armor and magic resist. Instead of the original 5% that you used to get here, you get 8% now. And that's a that's a big change, I think. 3% is pretty much... Well, if you get like 200 armor, 3% is 6. So it's, it's pretty good. Um, and then you also have to consider adaptive armor. So if one of the stats is higher than the other, you get 3% more based on how much of that. So let's say you're playing Malphite. And you have 300 armor. You get 3% of your armor as magic resist. So you get that extra little bit of magic resist even though you're not building any. So you're still getting defensive stats in the weaker of your two defensive stats. So it's, it's a pretty cool change, I think. I think that uh, a lot of tanks that focus one stat only defensively are probably going to be a little bit stronger. And I guess tanks in general will be a little bit stronger if you go deeper into the tree. Uh, if you're not going to go 31 or 30 into defense, you can go offense as well, 9, 21, 0. Uh, but you'd have to be a little bit creative. Most people probably don't get this one. Um, I think that Legendary Guardian is a must. Uh, there's not too much to talk about. People usually went Legendary Guardian anyway on their champions uh, when they went defense. This is like a, I guess this isn't a Mundo tree, but uh, Mundo needs this. But you can play around with it. Uh, maybe you don't need the tenacity, maybe you don't need the health regen. Uh, what else can you do, really? There's just so much you can do with the tree now. I like to not take this one most of the time, even though it does... It is pretty good late game, but I think most of the damage you take is from AoE damage. So that's something... I think these are kind of essential now. These are just really nice. Uh, so it, it's something that you gotta really test. I haven't looked into it much, obviously, if you can't tell. Uh, just... Like I said, this is really impromptu. It came, it, it appeared randomly, and, and I just suddenly noticed it. So, basically, to sum it all up, we got some new masteries for the defense tree, just like we did for the utility tree. Uh, it's going to benefit one or two types of classes in roles, I guess, in, in the game. It'll be the fighters and the tanks primarily. Uh, not so much any other role, but some of the, the, the champions that go 9 defense, like assassins and 80 carries have the option to get reduction to slow, but I think that health regen is overall better for them just because they have lower health pools. So maybe that won't change too much, it's just the option is there. Um, and like the changes to the utility tree, you're probably going to see some more viability with some champions. So with some of these changes, uh, and especially with the talisman buff and intelligence combined, you saw some really heavy engaged champions kind of come into the meta and become a bit stronger. 
Alistair is the, the one that really uh, stood out uh, among all the other ones. With the defense tree, with Malphite getting his W reworked, um, and Shivana getting a little bit stronger in 5.11, this is obviously 5.12, maybe we'll see them a little bit more. Maybe we'll see these champions a little bit more than before. So it's just some, it's just some stuff to consider. And uh, basically that's it. There's, there's not much else I, I can talk about for this video. Because uh, it's not really planned, if you can't tell. I don't even have any notes, really. I have like two lines of, no of notes. So let's just uh, end it here then. I hope you enjoyed the video, as always. And uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.